Hello, guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Skills and Abilities. That's right, Skills and Abilities. Today, we're going to be looking at uh, the first of the werewolf attack skills known as Feral Rage. Now, Feral Rage is um, a build-up skill, very similar to Frenzy, if you've ever used that on a Barbarian. Um, and basically how it works is it builds up to a crescendo, so to speak. Um, and in doing so, it um, gains effectiveness. Now, if you take a look at the ability, um, it says that it gives you a attack speed, attack rating bonus of 380%, a run-walk speed bonus of 19 to 61%, a lifesteal bonus of 4 to 156%, and a damage bonus of 230%. Now, if we transform into werewolf form, you'll see that the damage is represented here. And um, if we go up to a monster and we attack said monster, uh, you will start to see a red ball appear around the character. Um, each time you hit a monster, the red ball will continue to increase in size, and uh, and it will eventually grow to its maximum size. After hitting enough monsters, you will get your maximum form of the ability. Now, the ability lasts for 20 seconds when it is up, and any subsequent hit will refresh the duration. So you get a nice 20 second, and you can just tap one monster, and you can maintain that nice run walk speed, as well as the insane life leech. Now, unfortunately, the damage bonus and the attack rating bonus do not actually affect any other abilities. So as you can see on my panel here, Fury never changed in damage, so it's still 9,970. You'll also notice that the attack rating, which is 11,350, is still 11,350 after the ability wears off. Which should happen any second now. There we go. So as you can see, the attack rating and the damage of the ability do not go up. However, when utilizing any other ability with this ability, um, you do still maintain, number one, the run walk speed, <clears throat> and number two, the life leech. So the Life Leech is really the main reason why we come to, to this particular ability, because it gives us an insane amount of Life Leech, 61% at its maximum, and uh, you don't even really have to invest that many points in it, though. The thing about this ability is that even with just a modicum of points, you can still get a pretty crazy amount of Life Leech. And let's go ahead and reset the character real quick so I can show you this. So with one point... And some, uh, let's see, let me go ahead and put some points in so my equipment is uh, currently on. Um, that way we actually have whatever equipment we're wearing. So with one point in Feral Rage, we are looking at level 18 at the moment uh, because we are using uh, the Metamorphosis, which gives us a plus 10 to shapeshifting skills, basically, with, uh, <clears throat> with all of the effects on it. Um, because we get, uh, we get our, you know, like, plus three mall, plus three weirbear, plus the lycanthropy. Actually, I think plus ten is too high. Isn't it supposed to be plus five? I think this one might be a bugged helmet. I'll have to chuck that one and make another one. It's no big deal. Um, but even with the metamorphosis, we have plus five to skills. And without the metamorphosis, we're still running a decent amount of plus to skills to the point where we're at least level eight. And we're getting a 45% run walk bonus and a 40% lifesteal bonus, uh, which makes this a one point wonder. If you're any kind of werewolf druid, a fire claw, a fury, or even a feral rage druid, or a rabies druid, um, this is a good way that you can add in a little bit of extra um, lifesteal and a little bit of extra run walk speed to your build. Um, having this alongside an ability like fury is going to give you the ability to just have tons of lifesteal and a nice mobility effect as well. Um, and that's really what this is, is it's lifesteal and mobility, um, which is definitely going to come in handy as you're playing your werewolf druid. Um, now, this ability does not work, of course, with the the werebear. Uh, the werebear has his own ability called Maul. Um, now, do I recommend using Feral Rage? Actually, yeah, it's... It's pretty much a no-brainer. At any point, really, you can just stack up a couple points at Feral Rage. 20 seconds is long enough that literally all you have to do is tap a monster one time to refresh the duration, and it's going to last for a pretty significant amount of time. Um, as you're running from destination to destination, literally all you have to do is find one monster, tap it, refresh the duration, and you will be able to just continually run around and do whatever you want to do at much faster speeds in general than without it. Um, if I let it lapse, 
you'll be able to see that my werewolf no longer runs anywhere near as fast as he does right now. Now, this means that you don't necessarily need, like, run-walk boots, um, high amounts of run-walk equipment early on in the game, because as a werewolf, you can get a pretty large bump in your run-walk speed uh, pretty easily through Feral Rage. And if you are so inclined to max it out, you can get up to 58% faster run walk and 116% here at level 27. And of course it goes a little bit higher than that um, as you level it up even further. Now the only thing I will comment on about leveling Feral Rage up <clears throat> is that it does seem to take a little bit longer to reach the maximum number of charges. Um, according to Amazon Basin, the number of charges increases as you level it up. So, for instance, at level 1, there's only three charges, so you only have to hit three times to max out the, the charge to its maximum ability. However, at level 27, which is what I'm currently at right now, there is 16 charges. So, to hit the maximum effectiveness of the ability, you mo have to hit 16 times total to hit that maximum uh, load, which might not necessarily be worth it, although... Even before you hit the 16 charge maximum load, you're going to be running really fast and stealing a lot of HP. I mean, I think we can probably see it in the panel here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so here's our life leech right here. And we know that the amount of life leech provided by Feral Rage is 4 to 116%. All right. So as we hit, the life leech will increase with each subsequent hit. As you can see, we're at 41%. Now we're at 45, 49, 53, 57, 61. And as you can see, it is slowly but surely increasing with every single hit that we make. Now we're at 73, 77, 78, 85, 89, 93... 97, 101, and 101 is our maximum there. So it looks like uh, maximum number of charges is 101% life leech, which gives us all the run walk. So we have our 58% faster run walk, which for some reason doesn't show up on the panel. The life leech does, but the run walk doesn't. Um, not really exactly sure why that doesn't. Also, the life leech doesn't seem to um, be correctly calculated on the tooltip. According to Amazon Basin, it says the tooltip tip is incorrectly displaying the maximum life stolen per hit um, of 8 plus 4 times S level. So apparently it's off. So as you can see, it says 116, but I'm only getting 101. On top of this, I already have 37% life leech. So if we calculate in like all of the life leech we currently have which comes from things like the reaper's toll um, the nine percent from the carrion wind the seven percent from the viper whirl and so forth and so on we already have 37 percent um, so unfortunately this skill is actually incorrectly giving the amount of life leech to you now granted it's still a pretty amazing amount of life leech no matter what um, i mean if we calculate out what is that 37 uh, percent uh, minus uh, we'll say 101 minus 37%, which is our base. So we're still looking at 64% life leech at level 27. Um, and if we were to reset this really quickly. Um, instead, we're going to put in, um, actually, <laughs> I'm stupid, okay, I know. We're going to put in just one point, and we're going to see how much life leech we get from just one point of the, uh, of the ability. For science! So according to this, it says that it's going to give us 40% life leech. Uh, but let's find some monsters, whale on them. Let's see how much it actually gives us at level 8. Um, if you're unsure of why it matters how much life leech it gives us, um, the reason actually comes down to the 
problem of Hell Difficulty Life Leech penalties. So in Hell Difficulty, there's some pretty serious penalties for Life Leech. And on top of that, we also have Drain Effectiveness from the monsters themselves, which comes into play. And you end up with some pretty crazy reductions in Life Leech. So having a large amount of Life Leech as a melee character can really come in handy for giving you the most potential. Um, so 65% is how much we have with the ability, and our base is 37%, so let's just run that real quick. So 65 minus 37 is 28%. So instead of it giving us the rated value of 40%, it's actually giving us 28%, which is still a pretty significant amount of life leech. Um, it's just not as much as the ability is actually stating on the tooltip, which is unfortunate. Uh, maybe eventually they will fix this tooltip so that it gives the correct value, but um, eh. um, Another thing to note about Feral Rage, one-pointing it, is that um, you have to have enough attack rating to actually hit the target. Um, notice, since I have Fury maxed out, I have 8,219 attack rating. However, with Feral Rage, I only have 6,092 because I haven't put a significant number of points in it to increase the attack rating of the ability. Um, if you are going to be using this on a regular basis and you would like to get the maximum run walk and the maximum lifesteal bonuses, it doesn't actually hurt to put some points into it because you will get attack rating and damage on every single level up. And as you can see, the attack rating increases nicely up to 7,929 and our damage actually went up pretty nicely as well. Um, and of course, um, if you're going to be using it on a regular basis, it's nice that it actually hits the targets. And this is kind of the important thing because you don't get any charges for the ability if it doesn't hit anything. Um, and uh, and that means that if you're missing or you're whiffing with it on a regular basis, it's going to cause you some potentially some issues because you're not going to be actually building it. And then it's just going to be a waste of time. Um, and you definitely don't want it to be a waste of time. Of course, once you get your maximum stacks, you're not going to be using that ability anyway. You're going to be using Fury, which is your much better damage ability as far as like big groups. However, um, it is important to note that when you are in a big giant group of monsters that's very difficult to kill, Fury can often be very <clears throat> difficult to kill a specific monster with. So if you ever find yourself surrounded by monsters and there's one particular monster that you need to kill over the others, um, it is actually pretty important to use Feral Rage for this particular purpose because if you want to focus down a specific target, the only way to do that is to use a single target ability and Feral Rage is a single target ability. So for instance, in this particular case, say I want to take out Eldritch the Rectifier. I can use this particular ability, Feral Rage, to focus down Eldritch and get him out of the way. Uh, whereas Fury, as amazing as it is, is going to attack everything and it's going to spread the damage out like so much butter on bread. Um, and, uh, and, and keep this in mind because there are going to be quite a few situations where you're going to need to attack a single monster. And Fury is going to let you down because Fury is just going to hit everything willy-nilly all around you in a circle. Whereas Feral Rage is your one ability that you have on the werewolf that you can actually single target with. And it's good to at least have on a secondary key. Um, a lot of the times what I like to do is I like to take my controls and um, I like to assign Z and X uh, to my controls. And then what I'll do is I'll take Feral Rage or my secondary melee ability and put it onto Z. Um, there's also another important thing to go over when it comes to Feral Rage uh, between Feral Rage and Fury. Um, when you are out of mana, um, and this is something that's difficult to show off, but if you are ever out of mana in any situation, like say you're fighting Bale or something like that, um, and you are in your werewolf form, um, Feral Rage <clears throat> will still allow you to hit the target, but Fury will not. So let's see if I can actually uh, show this off in some way. All right, so first off, let's go to Fury. And uh, let me uh, actually spam my mana here so I run out faster. So one of the issues is that Fury, as it runs out of mana, will stop attacking. 
Um, and I'm trying to see if I can actually get it to happen here. Um, and uh, he will basically just say, I can't do that. I can't do that. Out of mana. Out of mana. I can't do that. I can't do that. Um, and this can actually be a big detriment in the middle of a battle. As you can see, he's literally saying, I need mana. I need mana. I need mana. Uh, this is because Fury, for some reason or another, doesn't default to the ability of using your regular attacks like other abilities do. Um, so, for instance, if I cast this uh, a couple times again and I switch to Feral Rage instead, when I run out of uh, mana with Feral Rage, Feral Rage will actually keep attacking with regular attacks, which means that even if I'm out of mana, I can still maintain some sort of hit function. Um, as you can see here, I'm zero mana and I am still attacking. He's no longer saying out of mana, out of mana, out of mana. Um, and for this reason, I actually usually like to have Feral Rage on my main click. Because whenever I'm in battle, in any situation where I might run out of mana, Feral Rage will continue to attack and continue to lifesteal, which means that in general it will keep me alive. Whereas in situations where I run out of mana with Fury, Fury will just simply stop attacking altogether and can sometimes end up getting me killed. Um, so having feral rage on my main attack is useful for this particular purpose because it allows me to just continually hit the target no matter how much mana i have within my pool whereas fury unfortunately when as soon as you run out of mana starts saying out of mana out of mana out of mana can't attack out of mana out of mana out of mana um and uh in the middle of battle sometimes you can't see your character sometimes you can't see that he's not attacking and by the time you notice that you're not attacking the target um you know especially if you have those math notifications turned down uh, <laughs> you, you you sometimes can be almost dead but before you realize it um so this is another reason why i would definitely recommend at least having feral rage bound because in any situation where you run out of mana, Feral Rage will allow you to, number one, continually attack, and number two, also actually build up Feral Rage. So the cool thing is, is that even though you're out of mana, you were regular attacking with Feral Rage. But as soon as any mana comes onto your bar, it will utilize that mana for Feral Rage and start building up the Life Leech, which of course can help you stay alive in those nasty situations where you're running out of mana. Now, what situations would there be when you're running out of mana? Well, if you don't have Mana Steel, that's one, but that's not all. Uh, Bale, of course, takes all your mana every single time he uses his mana attack. There are also mana burn monsters all over the place. Gloams and ghosts and things like that have drains mana on them. And there are definitely quite a few ways that your mana can hit zero. Um, and uh, having Feral Rage basically there to use is certainly nice. Um, anyway, I think that's pretty much everything for Feral Rage. And as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, even when we're just talking about some werewolf abilities. And um, as always, as uh, will you work there? As always, keep watching.